Welcome to Mastermind Gameplay, where success is only four prototypes away. Today, we're going to do a walkthrough of the mighty tunnel building machine in survival mode. I have modified this a little bit since the last time I posted, but there's not too many overall changes. It's still hydrogen generated powered, has two survival kits, has an added small conveyor sorter, a medium cargo container, and the medium cargo container is connected to a conveyor that separates out to feed the welders with steel. As a reminder, make sure that if you're doing a tutorial of something and you're flying next to these welders, that they are actually in the off position. So on the front of this, we have a small conveyor tube system, which accepts the stone directly from the drills, feeds it through the chassis. And as I make my way around here, feeds it into the aft survival kit. This way, the stone only goes into the aft survival kit and does not go into the forward survival kit. The survival kit in the front is primarily meant to create steel plates to create the tunnel. Where the aft one breaks down the stone into the iron ore. So for starters, we do not have any materials at all inside of this tunnel builder except for the ice that is powering our generators. Everything is currently empty. I emptied everything out of here after several tests in order to demonstrate how exactly it is working and that, in fact, it does sort properly. Now, if I can just get this thing lined up a bit. As you notice on my platform, I've extended the center line to more accurately line up the tunnel building machine since I've already put in a few extra walls. But don't worry, though. If you end up destroying these walls by hitting them, your welders can always fix them. I've also adjusted the landing gear that you see sticking out of the side. These are 3x3 gear wheels. It does not matter if you use the left or right type of gear wheels, they'll both work. But now all the pistons are more properly in line. The gears themselves have no power at all and their strength is set to 95%. They are a negative 32 for the height offset, as is typical for the default. And the pistons are extended to approximately 1.1 meters. As you can see, we have not started cutting the stone yet. So this will be the first trial run in this location. Previously, I simply hand-fed stone through the system to make sure that it couldn't get to the other survival kit. This machine is able to be remote operated, so I'm just going to stand here and remote operate. Whoa. As you can see, the drills aren't quite lined up yet and it did destroy part of our wall but as I mentioned before luckily we have the welders on here and they'll quickly repair whatever we damaged Right now I have the velocity for left and right rotors set at 5 and negative 5 respectively. This is a little bit fast when you first start collecting 
stone, so we're going to slow it down to about two and a half. That should give us enough time to start breaking down the ore into iron ingots and creating the steel. As you can see, it's going through the drill system. It's been deposited into the aft survival kit. And the forward survival kit is producing steel. There's also no stone located in the first survival kit. So far, so good. As we continue on, the amount of material we have is going to quickly increase because these survival kits cannot quite keep up with the demand. However, if you're going slow enough, they'll be able to do a pretty good job before you run into an issue of, say, too much gravel in the system. Notice as we're easily cutting through the side of this mountain and being able to build the tunnel at the same time. There's not too much wobbling or shaking on this device and it stays fairly straight all the way through. We'll check the inventory one more time. Looks like everything is starting to fill up fairly quick. Our survival kit is breaking down the stone still, and the other survival kit is creating steel and depositing it in the welder so fast that we can't even see it go into the welder. And that's about it. That's all it takes to operate this machine. Seems to be pretty smooth when you're cutting through this mountain. It may take you a while, but it is about the most efficient way you'll be able to do it. Well, as always, thanks for watching. And I hope you leave your tips and tricks in the comment section to share with everyone. I appreciate it.